What's up guys? Welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. This is a channel where I have my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey, and if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, let's jump into our review. Today we're looking at the Arden American ABC R2D2. Stick around. All right, so we're back with an Arden American today. This is the second release from them that I've looked at. Um, if you watched my previous review of the January 2021 release, you know how excited I got about it. That was one of my favorite whiskey discoveries of last year, of 2021. Um, amazing quality, flavor, and texture for such a young whiskey. That one made a bunch of my lists last year, and I've been ranting and raving about it ever since to whoever will listen. So, of course, I got really excited when I could get my hands on another bottle from them. This one is the April release. It's 04.21, so April 2021. Uh, and there's actually been several releases since this one. And if I see those ones around, I'm definitely going to pick them up too. But for now, let's zone in on this particular bottle. So this one was matured in 65% X bourbon barrels and 35% X sherry barrels. It's quite a young whiskey. The majority of what's in here should be around six years old. The Art American Distillery only got started in 2014, so it'll still be a few years yet before we get standardized age statements coming out from them. But that's definitely something for us to look forward to. Um, this one, April release, it didn't make quite as much noise as the previous two or three releases before it. I think that is pretty normal though because those first few releases you had like the inaugural release in there and there's a lot of hype, a lot of build up. And I think nowadays people are getting a little bit more used to seeing Arden American in the shops, on the shelves. Uh, but still people absolutely love this brand and I've been impressed with them so far myself. So let's jump into our review, see what our whiskey is all about. And in the meantime, if you could kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. So Arden American is a craft distillery. They have good specs across the board as most modern distilleries do. Uh, when you're an up and coming distillery, one of the best things you can do to prove your worth to new consumers is to give your whiskey a craft presentation. So we've got 46.8% here. We've got non-chill filtered. We've got natural color. All right, so we have a beautiful natural color to our whiskey. Um, I recently did a list video where I ranked whiskey bottle styles and I put this style as my favorite. I think I called this style minimalist sleek. Um, yeah, I love the aesthetic here. It's very simple and clean and modern, right up my alley. So presentation score here is gonna be five out of five. We've got unshell filtered and natural color on the label. On the back, we have a QR code. If we scan the QR code, it's gonna give us a bunch of info. Bottle 292 of 7,502, bottled by Kelly Combe on January 19th, 2021. Uh, so it's very precise. We got tasting notes, talks about the barley. It's all very modern, it's very transparent, so it's a great look, it's great information. I love this bottle. I did not add water, let's try our nose. Okay, so um, very fruity right off the bat, like tropical yellow fruits. Pears, peaches, um, Asian star fruit, loads of banana in here, maybe some yellow apples. We have some vanilla, some ginger. There is a touch of spiritiness to this one. Uh, and we also have like coastal notes. So we have minerals, some very gentle peat, maybe a little bit of earth in there. Uh, overall, it's a very engaging nose. It's very fresh. Let's try the palette. Hmm. Okay. This is not as oily as the January release. Um, like the nose, we're starting off very fruit forward. Um, peaches, again, banana, lots of banana in this. Vanilla, tangerine, more star fruit, and white chocolate. Now our finish. Okay, more of that beautiful peach note. This is really fresh and vibrant. It's like a, a tropical fruit smoothie. Uh, and then we have more of those maritime notes. We have more of those mineral notes, that peatiness. And we have some like unripened pineapple. This is a medium finish. Wow, so this one is really different from the January release. It goes in a different direction. Um, the bourbon to sherry cask ratio is about the same. The age is about the same. 
but these two whiskies are dramatically different. I'm not sure if one uses more like refill casks. I'm not sure if there's any difference in the peat levels. Um, I suspect there might be, but yeah, I have a few questions. Um, but still, regardless, this is a great whiskey. It's another beauty from Arden American. Uh, comparatively, I think I did prefer the January one. That one had a little bit more of an interesting minerality to it. And that one also had a really nice silky texture that I do find myself missing in this one. Uh, but still, this one's excellent stuff. It's got great flavor. It's got great complexity. Arden American is just a really cool distillery. They're already carving out a great house style. They're already putting out killer whiskeys. And that's only like six or seven years after distillation started. The caliber of whiskey they're putting out right now is top tier. It's top tier scotch. And I don't just mean it's great for its age. For any age, by any standard, this stuff is beautiful. Now our April release is a little bit younger and it is more spirity than the January one, but it still works. The profile is just loaded with fruits, most noticeably peach, but you also have banana, you have star fruit, you have citrus in here. It's all very tropical, it's very fresh. I would even call it a refreshing whiskey, and that's a little bit surprising considering we do have hints of peat in here. And I do love peat, but I wouldn't normally call a peated whiskey or even a gently peated whiskey refreshing. But this one is. We also have some great minerality in here. Honestly, this is taking a lot of elements that I like in Highland whiskeys, Island whiskeys, and it's throwing them all together and making something new with it. We have some beautiful coastal notes in here. We have some fruity, fresh complexity. And we have that gentle, peaty minerality. It all works. It all comes together beautifully. And while this one, I do enjoy it as is, I do think that it will be better in a few years. I think the January release was less undercooked. It was more market ready. This one, it's not undercooked and it is market ready. That's the wrong choice of words, but I think time will do it some favors. It is already fantastic stuff, but trust me, it's gonna be a hell of a lot better after a few more years in the casks. For now, I'm gonna give this one a solid 86. I do like it a lot, but once again, I'm so excited to try this stuff after a few more years, once their stock has matured. When these guys start pumping out stuff like 10 year olds and 12 year olds, they're gonna be killing it. I mean, they're already killing it. Honestly, if they keep up this quality, I predict they might become the next big thing in whiskey, like the next, I don't know, Aaron or something, just like a hugely popular, well-regarded, uh, modern, craft-oriented distillery, and I'd love to see that. I love the whiskey they're putting out now, and I love the direction they're headed in. So, Arden American, keep up the good work. You're already turning heads. Uh, as for the rest of you, if you can find an Arden American release, any Arden American release, I would suggest you pick it up. It's affordable, it's delicious, and it's a great indicator of what's to come from them down the line. I think our value here is pretty good. Some people might complain because it's a very young whiskey being sold at a moderate price tag, but I mean, when you consider the quality and also the fact that they just don't have older stuff to sell us, and also comparatively, if you look at a lot of other sort of work in progress type whiskeys, a lot of them can come off undercooked and not market ready, and that's definitely not the case here. Yes, they are young whiskeys, but they're not too young. They do work as is. And beyond that, I think it's great to watch a new distillery sort of like develop and evolve in front of our eyes, especially when they're putting out such good stuff at such a young age. So Arden American is definitely a brand you should be watching out for. Grab it if you see it, highly recommend it. All right, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to help support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe. It's always appreciated. And I do want to hear from you. Have you tried any of the Arden American releases? Which ones were they and what did you think? And finally, down in the comments below, let me know what you want to see me review next. I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.